Is your car's AC system leaking out slowly over time? Have you recharged it several times, but after several days, it seems to have leaked out again, or maybe even a little bit faster than that? Well, if your low pressure line connection port does not have a cap on it, that could be your problem. These caps have O-rings in them for a reason. They are about 60% of the seal on that refill port. These little Schrader valve connections that um, go inside of those are not perfect. Sometimes a piece of debris or something can get stuck in there, some dirt. Let's say you've been driving down the road and you had to go to charge this thing and a little rock or something gets stuck in there and it leaves that valve open just a little bit because you didn't have the breather cap on. So that's the problem sometimes. It's just a little bit of dirt got in there from you driving around without that cap on there and then you want to charge it and now it won't hold fluid. If you put the cap on, a lot of the times that will solve the problem. It did for me in one of my older cars. Um, but I wanna warn you, if you've charged the system several times, make sure you use the Pure R134. Um, you don't want to get one of those cans that already has oil and all that other stuff in it because you've already put way too much in it by now if you've charged it more than once with those types of recharges. You need to read the can. Preferably take um, and buy one of the cans that requires the, the puncture port. Those are typically the cans that are pure 134 and there's nothing else in there. And they will have, um, they'll, they'll require a needle to puncture that can. I don't think these will puncture those cans. These are for the cans with the plastic valve in them that looks like a spray paint can. It has a square head. I'm almost positive um, it's these. And the way to activate that is you puncture a hole in the can first by screwing it all the way down. And then you back the needle out to allow the fluid to flow. A lot of people forget that because they grab the can and don't read the instructions. And they think, I'm just going to stab this can open and run with it. I'm guilty of it. I've done it myself. Um, I found out the hard way that it's not like the can that has the plastic insert down inside of it that's opened by this. There's an actual valve in those cans that allow you to fill the device with how much you need, then take the can off. The Pure R134s, once you hook it up to this, that's it. You have to leave it on here or else it'll spray right out of there when you unhook it. So that's just a little quick tip on that you can buy these packs at AutoZone tell them you need a um, rapid seal AC something they know what these things are for that's why they're selling these they know that this will a lot of the times fix the leak in your AC system and here's the sad crying truth about it a lot of the times you take your car into a steeler ship right and <laughs> oh, those pricks you know where i'm going with this good luck fellas i hope this helps somebody out i really do uh, my last video has helped out so many people and i'm getting a lot of thank yous and i appreciate that so if you guys want to repay me in any way just hit the subscribe button for me it kind of helps my channel as far as marketing goes when um, some of these advertisers try to attach ads to my channel Having a lot of subscribers kind of promotes that for me. You don't have to watch my crappy videos. Just hook a brother up. And I hope this helps some of you out. Thanks a lot.